Happy Sunday. Emily and I just came from the eyebrow place. And yeah, we were walking out the door and somebody dropped. The wa there was a wallet right in the doorway. Nobody saw it. And I thought it was the guy that was getting a haircut. But the lady said it was somebody else. I guess she looked at the license. So I'm trying to teach Elmo in a valuable lesson that anytime you find something of somebody's. God, give it to somebody yeah, you return it to where it's from. Because if that's me, I would freak out and be going everywhere. That's what happened to uh, one of the dance teachers. Yeah. So. Life lessons are being learned this weekend. <laughs> Two times. Uh, well, yesterday, I think I said it in the vlog, that random, like, look like a bum like threw an empty wallet on the ground and I guess these tourists were just so honest and they thought that it was his wallet and it like literally happened right in front of us while we were trying to take a picture and they were trying to say excuse me sir sir you know like chase him to give him the wallet and the old guy was like like that Ugh. and it was empty so that means like, oh. he stole it he must have emptied out the wallet like nothing was in the wallet and we were all just standing there like oh my god that's so sad because it's just a reality people there are people that do those kind of things and it's just so unfortunate but then yet again on the opposite end of that there are honest people that will return things to you know where they belong and those tourists are so honest yeah like you too yeah i mean why would i take somebody's wallet that's just wrong oh well, we are going to marshall's so we're trying to look for a gift for my dad because it's his birthday and i'm such a slacker i think i might just get him a gift card but we're just gonna look in case we find something and the other three are at home it's just me and emmeline and the dolls okay so we just cheers what did we get emmeline uh starbucks what did you get no, it's not Java chip. It's cookies and cream. It's uh, they did um vanilla frap with chips, chocolate chips, and I got my chai tea latte. You ready? It's obsessed with JoJo's bowls, but they're selling them now in Target. In Claire's, they're like fifteen dollars, but here it was seven ninety nine. So we got her one. Eating dinner at Orchid. I got my Thai iced tea. And even Emma copied me. No, I like it too. <laughs> and Leah. Because <laughs> you got shrimp already, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't think we did. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, you ordered a fish? Do, is yeah. there a fish? Oh. Uh, I don't know. That's all my request was. <laughs> I only wanted to request pad thai. I'm going to pad thai right now. To say that Colby likes pad thai. She keeps asking for more. Oh my goodness. Always fighting. You sit here. And the dolls are here. She's ready for school. She's ready for a, a fancy party. Mm -hmm. Dance, Colby. Dance, Colby. Dance, Colby. Shake it. Shake it. Bobby. <laughs> Dancing. Doggy makes? What sound does the doggy make? Colby, what sound does the doggy make? Colby, what is it? What is it sound? What sound does the birdie make? <laughs> Let's go inside. Birthday to you. Emily. Happy birthday, dear Grandpa.
of the Mickey's. I picked up the card. It's a nice card. I like it. We didn't know what to get you, so we got you a gift. Uh -huh. Dylan, go, Grandpa. It's Grandpa. Dylan. I know already what's this. Cologne. 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 Hard times. No more card, yeah. <laughs> no more hard times. <laughs> Two hundred. Two hundred. Read it out loud. Best. Oh, I get it. Read it, Dylan. <coughs> you read it, Dylan. Best time. We love you so much. Ooh. Open it. Open it. Yeah. <laughs> That's one hundred dollars. No one. Yeah, two zero. <laughs> Oh, and he drew a picture. Yeah, but Grandpa can buy a mega million. We can do it. <laughs> mega million. Go, take a picture. Oh, there's another one underneath. Turn it up. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Another dollar. Nice Powerball. Yeah, that's your lotto. Go, take a picture. Maybe you'll have luck. Powerball is 200. Oh, my glasses. My glasses. 250. We're here cleaning. You'll have a... Uh, Left. And pooping. Um, <laughs> I know. Happy Happy Memorial Day. We need our our uh, umbrella still. We have our uh, hat and hoodie. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. We're trying to be festive over here, but this rain is just a damper. Usually the whole neighborhood is full of cars because everybody goes to the parade down the street, which is starting now. I guess because. Oh, can you put this on her? I guess because of the rain, there's not as many people, but we're gonna go because they give free hot dogs and drinks every year. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. I see Mercy Hall. Yeah. Let's go! to get more hot dogs with my brother. Emmeline walked back here with me and Colby. She's cleaning her stroller wheels. But um, it would have been so perfect if the weather was nice because then we could have done our garage sale and then we'd all get all this traffic of people walking. That was my goal, but the weather is not cooperating. At least it stopped raining, but it's just chilly now. So my last day of driving the Mazda 3 and I'm just getting out of the house at 1.30. Happy Tuesday, although it feels like a Monday. The kids went back to school. Our Memorial Day was just boring. I spent most of the day watching the Netflix series 13 Reasons Why. I've heard and seen a lot of people talk about it online and stuff and I could never find the time to watch it except yesterday since it was just gloomy and raining um, most of the day and now it's raining again. Um, I think I got through episode, half of episode 10 out of 13 yesterday and I finally went to bed. Well, actually I didn't go to bed. I had to, I was editing and stuff um, after I put the kids to sleep. But I finished it and it was very eye-opening and just I'm just like in a somber mood because of it. It kind of takes you back to like those feelings. Well, now as an adult, it takes me back to those feelings when you are in high school and and they said something in the after special about um, reasons behind the reasons or something like that, or behind the reasons, I think that's what it's called. And you know, when you're at that stage in life you do feel like every little thing that happens like it's the end of the world you know now knowing what I know now as an adult well now as an adult you kind of forget being in that headspace and it's just kind of scary like just knowing that this is the world that our kids are living in and just the idea of my kids being teenagers scares me, but that's honestly not that far away. Emily's gonna be 10 this year, 
and in three plus years she will be a teenager and she's already getting into her pre-adolescence and it's scary so I think it's a good movie and I'm glad they made it and it gets people to talk about things or at least I'm not talking about these things with my kids yet but one day I will have to and anyway I don't know I'm just kind of mood and this weather is not helping but I did not eat lunch nor did Colby so we're gonna go run to Chipotle and I need to go run some errands at Target and um, Malia's birthday is tomorrow she's gonna be eight and I think I'm gonna get the cupcakes now for her class and for dance although I don't know yeah we'll see what they have I might just get for her class and then get the dance ones tomorrow if there's enough I'll get it all now yeah eating Chipotle no more no more full Most of the days we've been driving this Mazda have been raining and now it actually stopped raining. It was just raining. Okay.